Well, how the hell, everybody? I'm just kidding. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Now, you already know that I'm hacking the crap out of this PlayStation Vita. I'm trying to turn it into the ultimate media device. There's one thing you may not know about me, though, and that's I'm kind of a huge comic nerd. Now, I have found out how to put comics onto the PlayStation Vita. I'm going to share that with you. In this video, I'm going to be showing you everything you need, all the apps you may need, how to convert files over, and all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's see what this PS Vita of yours can do. All right, everyone, so let's get into it. So first things first, you will need uh, two main uh, applications on the PlayStation Vita. You need three, really, but you need the two main ones to get the third one, okay? First one, obviously, is gonna be, you're going to need the DB uh, downloader uh, on the PlayStation Vita, and then you are, you're also going to need the PlayStation Shell, uh, sorry, Vita Shell app, okay? Now, once you have those, you're good, okay? We're going to start with the computer first, so we're going to you know hop on that there. Now, um, on this app, okay, on the app that actually um, that you're going to be getting these comic books on, or you're going to be transferring these comic books onto, the app is known as Naboru, okay, we'll get into that a little later, but first things first, in this Naboru app, you cannot read any other file types besides one file type from my understanding, and that file type is CBZ, okay, CBZ is the file type that you need to have your, your um, comics, books, manga in whatever um you need uh, to have those files in cbz format okay so first things first most of the files that i get uh, most comics that i download they're going to be in cbr form so that just doesn't work okay so i'm going to show you how to convert your files from cbr or i'm hoping that's what you have and if it's something else then maybe there's a workaround but um cbr files to convert them to your cbz files okay so first things first i do have a um website for you guys that i did find this uh software at it's called cb convert that's what the software is i will link the website uh to the um the details in this video and i am i'm on a window so i'm going to just go ahead and download the windows one you're going to click that and you know i've already downloaded it so blah 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 once that happens uh it's going to look just like this okay you're going to open this app up here and you will execute this application right here it'll open up and this is what it'll look like perfect very very simple Kind of reminds me of the 1990s um, <laughs> software, kind of just, I don't know. Anyways, so what you're going to do is this. You will have your already downloaded files. I'm hoping you already have all those. Please don't ask me, you know. Um, but anyways, if you have them, cheers. And if they're in that format, which I think they are, um, this is what you're going to do. You're going to pull up this software. You will have your folders. And for me, I actually have uh, a bunch of Wolverine comics. Uh, and you, I mean, I'm a huge Wolverine fan, so if you didn't know. Uh, but I am going to convert actually one of these Wolverine What If storyline comics. And we're just going to go ahead and do... Uh, let's do Wolverine What If the Hulk Killed Wolverine. Uh, no, no. You know what? We're not going to do that. We're going to do a cooler one, in my opinion, and that's Wolver um, Wolverine had become a horseman of the cop of the apocalypse. We're going to do that one. So once again, you can tell that the file is um. Oh, what is this? No, 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 no. Okay. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually choose uh Wolverine uh had become a horseman of the apocalypse. We're gonna use that comic. So here I'm going to add file. And you can actually add the entire folder if you want, but let's, let's not do that right now. Let's just add this, and then we're going to choose the Horseman Apocalypse comic. It is there. You will need to click on the actual thing, uh, the actual file for it to pick up, I'm assuming. So go ahead and click on that. Here, the only thing that you need to do, everything is ready for you to be converted. Uh, it's already ready to convert to CBZ. Um, so what you're going to do is this. You're just going to go to Output, and you're going to pick a directory. I'm just going to put my desktop, OK, and convert simple as that and as you can tell boom just like that the comic has now been converted over simple as that the file is now a c 
BZ file. You can see what it says right there. And that's simple as that, my friends. So now that we're done with that converting software, I'm going to show you what you need to do on the PlayStation Vita part. Okay. And then we'll go step by step, my friend. Cheers. I'll get you on the other one. Okay. So now that we've learned how to convert files uh, to the CBZ format, um, next thing we're going to do is get the PlayStation Vita out. It's time. All right. So you get the PlayStation out. Make sure your internet is connected. Okay. So first thing we're going to do, my friends, is we're going to actually go to our Vita DB downloader. Okay. That's the first thing that we're going to be doing. Now, once that's up and loaded, ready to go, it's going to do its little like, you know, downloading app list and whatnot. Once that's ready, you will. Okay. So once that's ready, you're just going to search in the uh, search bar or however way you want to do that. You're just going to search Nuboru. I think it's no, no boru. Yep. Okay. So Nuboru, you're going to find that you're going to install Nuboru. Okay. And once that's done, you got the install thing going on. You're going to be installing it. It is installed already on my part. Uh, then that is good. So Nuboru has been downloaded and I'm going to get into Nuboru really quickly here to show you what Nuboru is. Uh, so essentially Nuboru is a, a downloadable streamable comics app it does have some uh, manga manga on it as well so um maybe if that's your thing you might just enjoy the app all by itself okay however that's not the reason i got this app i wanted to get this app to see if i was able to actually convert my own files and put them onto there because i mean i like i like anime and i like manga as well but i don't read a lot of it myself but i have a ton of marvel comics and dc and you know things of that nature that i have in file format and i wanted to see if this app could actually you know let me view that and to my surprise with a little you know, working around and all that, uh, that is possible. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in this app for just like anime and all that, or, um, you know, manga and stuff like that, uh, this is probably a good app for you. You can view it, download, stream stuff and all that nature. Uh, but once again, that is not why I am using this app. I'm using it to put my own comics on it. So once we're done with that, you got the app installed, it's connected. Cheers. You are done with the Nuboru app. You can close out of that app and Essentially, you should already have uh, the PlayStation, uh, the sorry, the Vita Shell app. That is very crucial for this. So make sure you have Vita Shell. And simple as that. Once everything is installed, you have your three main uh, software apps that you need for this conversion process. Okay. You have your Niboru app, you have your DB downloader app, will let you get Niboru, and then you have your Vita Shell app. Now that you have all of those, it's time to get to the real nitty gritty, which is pretty simple. We're going to plug in the play, uh, the Vita and we're going to plug it into our computer and get to this uh, transferring file stuff and let's do it. All right. So now that we've converted our files and we've also downloaded all the apps that we need, we're just going to plug in the PlayStation Vita. Make sure that you have opened up a Vita shell first and foremost. Once you've opened it up, you can connect your piece, uh, your cable to uh, the Vita and the PC and ready to go. Now you already know if you've already been on Vita shell, once you're connected your cable, you're going to hit the select button. Okay. That will uh, acknowledge the um, connection or whatnot. Uh, and you will have a drive pop up, whatever. And that should be your Vita, your Vita folder and your directory there. Okay. So now that you have got that pulled up and your Vita is connected successfully, we will go ahead and actually go to our data folder for the Vita. And we're going to find the folder known as Nuboru. Okay. Once we've found that one, very, very simple. I tried putting stuff in the comics folder. It does not work very well. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to put it in the import folder okay you can see all my comics are in here at this time so wherever your converted file is at okay wherever the converted file is at you're going to copy tr uh, drag and drop whatever to that import new boru folder okay drop it should be a quick transfer depending on how strong your computer is should be a quick transfer and that's it that's all that you need to do on this part of the transferring simple as that drag and drop donezo donezo Okay, so once that's over, that's it. You can uh, you can uh, deconnect from the um, PlayStation Vita by hitting the circle button. Now it, everything's been done. Everything's been up to date. Of, essentially, you can unplug, and that's it. We're gonna go ahead and switch over back to the PlayStation Vita to verify that the file has been converted over, and 
Let's play, guys. Okay. All right, my friends. It's the uh, moment of truth now. So we have transferred everything over. Converting has been done. Files been transferred to the Niboru folder. Now, simple. We're just going to go to Niboru, which is right here for me. I'm going to click that right there. Open up Niboru. Now that is opening there, my friends. It's just going to connect to the internet, load everything. I'm not exactly sure if you need internet at all times for this. I don't think you do. Once you've imported your files, you should be good. Now, once you can see my library here, okay? Okay? It does not have the uh, Apocalypse Now comic yet, okay? So now that it's been, it's stored in my folder, you're simply going to write, uh, you're going to bumper click, uh, write bumper click to the import button. Now, this is all of the fo uh, files that I have in that import folder, Okay? Um, so you're just going to go down to the file that you have converted, which is for me, which is the what if it's Wolverine, uh, had become the horseman. I'm just going to simply hit, it says it has hit square for import. So you're just going to hit square for import. It'll let you know that the import has been complete. Now, moment of truth. Let's go find out if it did work. And what do you know, my friend right over here? right over here beautifully done it is here look at that works beautifully some of these older comics they have like you know the fonts just not the, the printing just wasn't that good some of the ink leaks or whatever you want to call it uh but it's definitely readable on the newer comics uh it's still readable in general to be honest with you um yeah so there it is man that's it it's uh it's done that's the awesome Nuboru app. Sweet. Got it going. And that's it. Now, go on, get your favorite books, and start uploading and start reading them on your PlayStation Vita. So, cheers. And that's it, guys. That's how you put comic books, whatever, manga, manga, art books, whatever you like, even just books, you can put that on your PlayStation Vita. That's how it's done. Simple. Now, I really, really appreciate you guys being here. It means the world to me. One thing I want to let you know before I head out is that if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe, blah, 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 blah. But keep this in mind, guys. I do a lot of other stuff. I plan to have a lot of other content for you guys, video game reviews, technology reviews. I mean, I love boxing. I mean, who knows? Who knows what I'm going to come up to? I do voice acting and acting. So there's a lot of stuff I'm going to be doing. So please stay tuned. Um, once again, I appreciate you being here. If you made it this far, thank you. And hey, I'll catch you on the next one. One other thing. We're all soldiers now.